guys, it's so it's um hey guys, so it's Nature and this is a collab with the one and only the Snowy Cat. We're both doing story times about our crazy teachers. So go check out her um video on her crazy teacher. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be awesome. So this story time is gonna be about a teacher who thought I cut shoes. So yeah, let's get started. So basically, I was in fifth grade when this happened, and yeah, um, we all went to this mangrove kind of trip. It's called the mangrove trip, and I actually have some pictures, and I actually made a vlog um, from the man mangrove trip, so you guys can go check that out. It was when I was like in fifth grade, which my voice sounded kind of weird, so. But yeah, I have a vlog up on my other on my face channel um, about the mangrove trip. Yeah, there are some like kind of snippets of the shoe cutting incident, and I will put the clips in this video so yeah okay so the first thing that happened is that we went to the um, trip and there were like kind of rooms and they were kind of like they were bungalows which meant like they were like kind of like small rooms there's like kind of like two rooms connected on two sides you know how those some of the hotels have like so basically one room is here right and this is the wall and there's another room here and this is the wall and yeah and the doors are on opposite ends and then there's like a like a kind of like dividing door in the middle so you guys can go to like each other's room and you can lock it if you want but you know if most people don't lock the doors and this and this field trip mr grass green was also in charge so that was also kind of bad i got to stay in a room with kathy Toko and yeah, we just went into the well not dorm but the bungalow in our room and we and we opened the dividing door to see who's like who's sleeping in the other room next to us and it was Ishani, <laughs> Maddie and Jane. So that was that was cool. We can like kind of talk to each other. We didn't leave the middle the combining door open though, which was kind of sad because like we just didn't want anyone to get into our rooms and stuff like that. So we just we left it unlocked in case of like. You know we want to talk but we didn't leave it we didn't leave it open there was one thing which is kayaking interviewing miss ishani about kayaking first part in the field trip yeah and kayaking um is when you get wet okay you go on a boat and you get wet and the teacher told us to bring extra shoes like crocs or things that can like dries easily so we all brought like some Crocs and or like an extra pair of shoes or like some water shoes or stuff like that and Kathy brought some Crocs from what she said really old or it was old and she never wore them or like something like that but it looked old okay and she just put them in a plastic bag and she stuffed it in her bag uh, before she came here when she got to the room she got it out in front of all three of us and she showed it to us on her feet just to, like walk around in the room with and just like you know but basically Kathy brought a pair of shoes and we were all like okay cool like stuff like that and then I also brought a pair of scissors now I have the, you know this little box where there's like scissors and like wait I can show you I brought this box to the mangrove trip I don't know where my scissors are I think the teacher took them but they were like scissors and they were like this they were like this size okay guys like this is this compared to an LPS and I brought the scissors because my hair ties I hate pulling it out of my hair so just cut them like you know those like you know the rubber bands one and most of my friends knew about it I think and then we went back to the room we, 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 yeah we changed and then we went outside to um we it was break time so after all the activities um it was break time and we go like to the beach and go swimming and go eat uh, dinner and blah, blah blah the dinner was not good by the way guys it was like not really good uh we were in the lunch line so yeah and jane actually told me that toko and vess went to our room and now the key is with kathy so they couldn't get into the room and jane and maddie were going gonna go into the room but jane and maddie had like the keys to the room but vess and toko didn't have the keys to the room and toko wanted to go get change or get a pair of pants or something they asked jane to like you know go into their room so you know it's kind of confusing but they asked Jane and Maddie to go into, you know, their side of the room. And since we left the connecting door unlocked, they can go through the connecting door and open the door to the to our room. Open the door and let and let um, Toko and Vess go in. Jane and Maddie did was they just went into their room and um, and went through the connecting door and unlocked the door from the other side so um so toko could so toko could 
get in and get her shorts. But once they unlocked the door, Toko and Vess were gone. Yeah, they were just gone. So I mean, so yeah, they were gone. They weren't outside the door anymore. And 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 Jane and and um, Maddie were like, okay, let's just leave the door unlocked, and they'll come back. You know, they'll come back for their shorts. And it, we just thought, oh, they went to get something. They forgot something somewhere. Or they went to the bathroom and blah blah blah. But you know, we, so they left it unlocked. And when um, Jane told me about it, I was like, oh, you know, that's cool. Like, you know, they they probably locked it after they went back to get their pants. And then, yeah, I actually have a video clip of Jane telling me this. So I'll un insert it right here. Sorry about so First, I was like, oh no, we don't have the key. Went through our room, went through your room, and then opened the door. Shot. We opened the door. What an end of story. So, um, yeah, that was the clip, and yeah, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> then we went to eat, and then we went, when we went back, Kathy decided to take out her shoes to just see again, and they were cut. And they were cut on both of the shoes at the exact same spot. You know how Crocs, they have these, like, straps to keep your uh, feet in and not slip out? Yeah, they were, the straps were all cut off. So, yeah, and we, since we were stupid, we decided to, you know, DIY the shoes and cut it to make it look nicer for Kathy to go kayaking. So I brought my scissors out and I tested it if it could cut the shoes, which is really stupid of me. So it can actually cut the shoes, um, which is kind of crazy, but it cut through the shoes and then you're like, oh yeah, let's just DIY it. But I was like, yeah, but these look like scissor marks. So I went outside and I told a teacher about it, which was really stupid of me since I should have just left it with the kids. But no, of course not. I went to tell the teacher because I wanted to know who did it. I went to tell the teacher that, hey, you know, her shoes are cut, you know? And then the, the teacher was like, oh, okay. He told the kind of like the captain of this whole field trip, which is Mr. Grassgreen about it. And Mr. Grassgreen was like, oh yeah, you know. We'll meet at, we'll meet at dinner tomorrow, just talk about it. We are like, oh cool, yeah, you know, cool, yeah. We could just meet then. But then uh, what happened afterwards was kind of crazy, which uh, it kind of just left us like, oh, seriously, like, yeah, so basically we went to dinner up the next day and um, Mr. Grassgreen called us and then he was like, he just, he didn't let us talk at all. He just made every, he just like, the only person who basically talked through the whole thing was Toko. And we were really suspicious that she actually cut the shoes, you know. She didn't really like Kathy because Kathy didn't really like her either. But Mr. Grassgreen was like, oh my god, she's telling the truth because she has those, like, you know, I don't know. She just, yeah, Mr. Grassgreen believed him. And I was just like, yeah, and she said some things that weren't exactly true. They were like a white lie, okay? And I was just like, hey, that that's not actually true. And then I was like, actually, what happened was Mr. Grassgreen was like, hey, don't cut your friend. You'll, you'll have your turn, okay? Don't cut your friend. You'll have your turn. And I was just like, Okay, I'll just wait my turn. I never got my turn. Like, most people got to talk, except Ishani and I, which didn't really get to talk at all. But I didn't get to talk at all. And everyone, like, most, mostly everyone got to talk, like, almost the whole time. And in the end, Mr. Grassgreen told, looked at Ishani and I, and we're like, You know, you two know about the scissors. And I was just like, yeah, most people know about the scissors. And then she, he was just like, You two kn knew about the scissors. You two must have did it, done it. And we were just like, Seriously, and our and our like kind of homeroom teacher actually didn't think that we did it. Like, why would we cut our best friend's shoes? There's like no point. There's like no point. And so like Mr. Grassgreen was like, Yeah, but you guys cut the shoes, and we were just like, Yeah, we didn't do that. And Mr. Grassgreen was like, Yeah, you know, if you guys don't tell, if nobody um tells us who cut the shoes, then um this goes to the principal. And we're just like. Oh, okay, like, you know, cool, because we didn't cut it, like, okay? And we did not enjoy the rest of the night at the campfire at all. Like, I didn't want to toast marshmallows, okay? And actually, I've roasted that teacher so many times. I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry, okay? It, um, but, you know, there was this other girl, and let's just call her, kind of went around telling people that her shoes got cut or something else. I don't know, her story keeps on changing. So, I don't know, we're suspicious of her too, but you know, there's a lot of suspects.
But basically, I went to the bus with a bunch of boys. Ishan and I went to the bus, and there were a bunch of boys, okay? And we, we were basically almost the only girl in the bus, um, which is kind of crazy. I mean, like, why did they divide us that way? I'm not sure. The group of boys are, like, mostly Thai. So basically, I can talk to them without the teacher knowing what I'm saying. So I'm just telling them my, my side of the story. Telling them that I didn't do it and, like, could maybe they could like give me some clues so this one guy we'll call him jace okay so jace told me that sh he saw toko outside in the middle of the night talking to someone next door okay with a flashlight which is kind of crazy we don't know if it's true but he also said his roommate saw it so we went to ask his roommate like a few months after and his roommate actually said yeah we saw her so yeah and we don't know who's room is next to us but yeah anyways so that was kind of like a clue but all the guys thought that toko did it um i went to my room and I basically cried because i never got really in trouble by the teacher and you know everyone was really nice about it so yeah um the next day we went back to school and the principal actually took away the shoes and the scissors and i don't know where the scissors are right now but yeah I, I, she gave them back to me anyway so i went we all went to talk to the teacher uh, kathy went to talk to the teacher first though so yeah and the principal was really nice about it by the way i don't know what she said to kathy but when i went she asked questions about kathy and why she didn't tell the teacher herself now kathy was unwilling to tell the teacher so maybe she cut her own shoes we don't know okay but like the teacher thought the principal thought that kathy cut the shoes um, my homeroom teacher, Miss Hen, thought that Toko cut the shoes. And Mr. Grassgreen that Isha thinks, thinks that Ishani and I cut the shoes. In the end, we don't know who cut the shoes, which is kind of crazy. But we don't know who cut the shoes. The teacher called it off and called just like, you know, they can't figure it out anymore. So, yeah. Yeah, so that was it. That's, that's it, guys. That's all that really, yeah. So basically that was the end of the story time. Please go check out the snowy story time which is coming up right after this. So yeah, please enjoy it's it. Snowy here and today I have a story time for you. And I'm sorry if this video is kind of like echo-ish because um I'm recording this in the bathroom. So anyway, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> This video is a collab with LBS Diamond Eyes. Don't forget to go check this story out. So yeah. So today I'm just gonna tell you the story of how my teacher lied about being Korean. Now this video is absolutely no hate on Korean people or Chinese people or anything. So yeah, please don't get offended. And yeah, so my teacher, we're just gonna call him Mr. Pai in this situation. So. I'm not gonna tell you what subject he teach because I don't know if he will somehow see this in the future, so. So, yeah, so Mr. Pai was teaching, so, and everyone was listening to him and everything, and yeah. He just told the whole class to grab a paper and note what he just said. And yeah, everyone was grabbing their papers and everything. But then he looked at my desk and apparently the girl next to me already have her paper on the desk yeah. And I didn't have the paper on my desk yet But I was literally grabbing it from my back And he just smacked a book, a math book It was pretty thick, um, but it doesn't hurt that much But yeah, he literally smacked a book at me And he said, Snowy, get to work And I was literally grabbing the paper out of my bag like I have the paper in my hand and he didn't see it so he smacked a book at me so yeah I was kind of confused I didn't really get mad but I was like okay and then this is like the different class by the way we have a test day yeah everyone was doing their work and everything then he said oh I'm in a good mood today so I'm gonna tell you a story and so everyone was like still doing their test but also listening and he said there's this little boy there's this Chinese little boy who tells his mom that he want to be a teacher now this is not to offend anyone who is Chinese and want to be a teacher or anyone who want to be a teacher please don't get offended this is just my story okay 
please don't get offended i'm sorry guys if you get offended so yeah he said he said that and and he just continued his story blah 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 everything and then me and my friend just looked at each other like wait i thought he said on his first class that he was korean and she was like yeah me too and i was like did he just lied about being a korean this is again this is not to offend any korean people i'm sorry if you get offended so yeah that's my story bye and i'll see you in my next video bye